be noticing a lot of people use COVID to isolate themselves and I think I've done that too right I was really comfortable <laughs> during those early months of COVID I was like reading a book a day like those were good times <laughs> and I think my natural internal direction is towards more solitude than is good for me I have to work against my own nature to be more social to make more commitments with other people to get together with a group or the minion on the own I tend to isolate and so you know, life is a whole series of challenges it seems to me and we use these challenges and we react to these challenges you know, in light of our own predispositions so many people use things like COVID to isolate you know, other people use difficult times to eat you know excess amount of ice cream or to do drugs or to watch pornography right? life is a series of challenges and stimuli but we use these stimuli and challenges in you know, directions to which we are predisposed and so life quickly brings out you know, our maladaptive reactions and then the actions become habits and often what starts out as adaptive becomes maladaptive and starts to strangle us so solitude is great loneliness sucks the more scary the world seems to people right, the more likely they are to withdraw the more ill at ease people feel the more likely they are to withdraw so when people are kind of a mess inside or a mess in their bodies then they tend to retreat from the world and from interaction with others which tends to make problems worse so the great reset right that's where the global elite supposedly using covid to you know, institute socialism and take away our basic human rights uh, that's a talking point on the, on the right well it comes from Rahm Emanuel, Barack Obama's chief of staff, who said, never let a crisis go to waste. But I don't think we, as people, you know, let anything go to waste. We just tend to use things in life to send us along paths that we are naturally disposed towards. Right? No woman, no song, no cry, no podcast, no book. No ideology, no religion, no culture, no work of art is going to send you in a direction you don't want to go for very long or for very deep. Right, so some people sometimes ruin their lives over a book such as Kevin McDonald's Culture of Critique. But uh, Kevin McDonald's book isn't the real issue here. The real issue is that some people just have a strong self-destructive urge and it just so happened that they used Kevin McDonald's culture of critique as the bomb with which they wanted to which they couldn't help blow up their lives now I don't think people usually deliberately choose to blow up their lives but uh, these self-destructive compulsions I think are you know, active in all of us to varying degrees which is why God says in Deuteronomy I put before you this day a choice between life and death choose life because the the human tendency towards death is usually present just to, to varying degrees and so it's a lot easier to choose life if you are connected with people if you love people if you care about people if you have a community that you're dedicated to if you have specific people that you believe in want to help want to be around bereft of that sort of human connection then I notice I go haywire I start acting weird then the more weird I act right, the worse I feel the more isolated I get which is a viciously reinforcing cycle downward spiral until luckily I've had friends who've family said oh mate hang on here you're not headed in a good direction. <laughs>